all right people welcome back to another video all right guys so today i got an awesome video to show you guys that i saw online i started from a youtuber i'll drop his info down below if you want to check his video out so with this mode on it's out the box off rip it's boosting your processor over what it's supposed to be right so you don't really need all that power off rip because no games really use all that power as of right now this is like some crazy crazy ass game but with this if you disable it you get better battery life you get less fine noise and less heat off your your processor right because it's not overclocking your processor so um let me just get into it and i'll show you step by step what to do and how to change it and how to further optimize your system to give you a better performance right because you don't need all that extra power it's pushing out right now but this um with it with it disabled your game experience is still great because you're not seeing any difference that's the whole thing they're boosting your processor but there's no difference in gameplay so you don't need that right now that's what i'm telling you and that's basically what the other guy was saying so let me get into it and then you can see what i'm talking about right all right so i got this is watchdog i got loading up right now as you can see if you can see on my screen you will be able to see like my gpu settings my gpu wattage and my cpu all right so right here so with this mode right it's with your battery when your, your device is plugged in or if it's running off battery so it's each either or you could disable it if you could disable it you can leave it on when you're plugged in or you can leave it off when you're plugged out and you're on battery so you can save power like that so it's up to you or you want to do it and each mode you're in if you're in turbo performance or silent then you, you have to disable for, disable it for each mode right so since i'm on battery let me just do it for battery see no major difference no major difference right So I'm saying you don't really need it. And let me just put this over here. You don't really need it on. So I'm just going to gameplay real quick. And then you can see. Oh, I got to turn back on. Gamepod. All right. Right now it's disabled. And I'm not seeing any difference, right? Frame rate is at 37, 32. no difference you know, same no drop frames i don't like that you can make the frames a little bit higher if you want if you put it down to 720 up to you you want to rock it and the, the frames gra will gradually go up see going up to 42. but no difference no difference at all all right. And remember, you gotta change it for each mode. Each mode, guys. All right, so how you get to it now? You wanna hit the search button. Then you wanna look for registry editor, right? So there, just the RE registry editor, right here. Click that. yes all right so i already did it but i'm just gonna scroll up so you guys can see all the steps right so the first thing you want first place you want to go is h h key local machine right that's the first one right here you just got to open it you're gonna open up like a smaller window then you want to go to systems which is right here systems then it's gonna open another window again then you want to go to current control set current control set which is right here then you want to go to control which is right here once you follow those steps then it shouldn't be that hard just got to scroll through those first couple steps is once you hit it you're going to see it's like a little like maybe like five six folders in there it's easy to find but now you once you hit control it's going to get a little bit harder not harder but it's going there's a lot more folders in these ones over here 
So in control, you want to look for power. You'd have to scroll down. Look, you might need a mouse if possible. Just scroll down until you see power. That is power right here. Once you hit power, it's going to open up another window. Then you got to look for power settings. That should be a, like maybe five folders in there. Hit power settings, which is right here. Then I right, already open like this right here. And you're going to get like a few folders with some numbers in there. So you just got to look for 5453251, which is right here. That's the last one. I mean, it's not the last one on your thing because I already opened it. That's why it's showing me like that. Five to this number right here. Just got to open it. When you open it, this is like the last folder, but there's going to be a lot of folders in here. It's got to scroll down to like the middle when you start seeing B. And I look for B E three three seven two. Three eight. Scroll down and look, look, look. Start so seeing B. All right, this is it right here. You can't see the whole thing on mine because I already opened all those folders, so that's why. But it says B E three three seven two three eight. Once you get to B E three three, you don't even have to open it. You just gotta press it, and it's gonna open up right here. The settings right here. You gonna see attributes, right? Just gotta click attributes. Double click it, then here, if you look right here, by the number 0222, whatever, 000022, you're gonna see one inside the bracket. I have two because I already changed the settings, so that's why you're seeing two. So once you double click attributes, you're gonna bring up this right here and value data. You just gotta change that one to two, then hit okay, and that's it. You don't even have to restart. So you can just minimize that, then, you gotta come here, then you type power. Well, you're not gonna see it here because it's not showing all right. So, next thing you could do, you just go to control. Just offer it, just go to control. Because sometimes the power thing don't show up. You go to control, you go to hardware and sounds. Then, you got a power, power options, right? Click on power options, as I said before. Each mode is different depending on what mode you're in. You got to change that settings in that mode. If you're plugged in, there's a settings for that. If you're in silent mode or anything like that, there's a settings for that. I'm in performance mode right now because I'm not plugged in. So you just hit change, then change advanced power thing. Then you would go to processor power management. Processor power management, and then you go to process the performance boost mode hit that and then this is where you see it that and then you just hit there and then you just go on disable i gotta change it to my thing let me change it to the desktop there and then you hit disable and then you can do it in power mode as well in plug-in mode as well then disable they hit okay and that's it so as i said before this mode you're not it's not needed this helps you to save power if you're on the go i recommend you doing this so that you can save a lot more power get a lot more juice out of your battery because you don't really need all the extra clock speed while asus is giving you off rip because it's not ta really taking advantage of it and the wattage it affects the wattage so basically that's what it's doing it's pushing more wattage towards the the processor that's not needed that's really not needed as of right now i guess they do it just because just in case right if there's anything they have backup power just to keep up with the game but it's not needed right now guys and that's it so as i always say tell me what you think down below hit that like button Subscribe to the channel. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. And remember what I always say guys, health is wealth. Peace and love. I'm out.